This is like a little bit of sunshine in your life. I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious pepper, prawn and chorizo bake with beautiful rice around it. It is so scrumptious. So in my freezer, I nearly always have prawns of some kind. Put them in a little cold water for like 15 minutes. They defrost. Happy days. So I've preheated an oven to 220, right? If I cut halfway through this pepper, just run your knife around here. Take the seeds out of your peppers and then cut this into four. So one, two, three, four. The first part of the story is very, very simple. Open the oven and go straight onto the bars, right? We just want to give it a really good roasting really quickly. So, a little bit of olive oil in a pan and let's start the story with chorizo, about 50 grams. And in this chorizo is the key to a lot of the flavor. So it's not just sausage, it's got garlic, it's got herbs, it's got beautiful, you know, pimento in there, sweet cayenne, and get that into your olive oil. So I've got four cloves of garlic, which I want to finely slice, and I'm going to get that into the chorizo to let the sausage and garlic fry away. I want to get about half a bunch of parsley. Finely slice those stalks, and they're going to go in with the chorizo and the garlic. So as this gets gorgeous and crispy, I'm going to get myself a bowl, and I'm going to remove this chorizo and garlic now. Importantly, leaving behind that amazing flavoured oil. So get yourself a mug. We're going to put in basmati rice. One mug of rice is perfect for four people. Into that oil, mix it up. Let the fat go around that gorgeous rice. For the perfect rice, you want two mugs of boiling water. One, two. So let's go back to the oven now and get those peppers. The natural sugars in these peppers have been accessed, and that's going to make a massive difference in this bake. So take your little ring and just nestle it into your rice. So turn that off now, and this will go in the oven with a lid on top or tin foil for 15 minutes, right, to let it all plump up and get gorgeous. I'm going to now show you how to do the prawns. About 300 grams on the chorizo and the garlic. My family love prawns. And then, finally grate the zest of half a lemon, and then I put the juice of half a lemon into this, right? So just give that a stir up. Lemon, garlic, chorizo, look at the colours, come on. So let that marinate while the rice cooks, and then I'll show you what to do next, because it's going to be amazing. OK, look at that. Steamy, gorgeous and colourful. Then take those amazing prawns and just kind of like sprinkle it over the top like that. Just push it into the rice and we'll pop that back in the oven now for five minutes so we cook the prawns all the way through. Five minutes is up and here we have it, my friends. A beautiful chorizo, prawn, and pepper bake. And then just take some of that lovely chopped parsley, sprinkle it on top. Let's go for it, come on. Get yourself a nice chunk of the pepper. So good. Nice little wodge of fresh yogurt. That with a nice little lemon. Bit of parsley on top. Throw in a little bit of salad on the side. Right, let's have a little try. Hallelujah. The smell will draw in my teenagers and they will devour all of this in no time at all. They love prawns, garlic, chorizo, rice. Come on, what a combo.